everyone, so welcome to Nesting Core Values. So today I want to talk about Microsoft acquiring, uh, as you guessed it, TikTok. So TikTok is a, an app that does basically these short videos, usually fairly entertaining, um, a bit different to YouTube because they're shorter and they generally tend to be a bit more of the entertainment type of feature, uh, meaning, you know, it's something that really fits well with a younger age group uh, as we'll go through some statistics around TikTok. Uh, so we look at Microsoft um, on a brief glance in terms of the share price. It's currently at $2.216 uh, which has kind of risen up fairly well recently. Ever since uh, Satya Nadella has taken over the company, uh, Microsoft has been doing phenomenally well. Like if you bought five years ago at $50 uh, you'd make four times your money on Microsoft and this company is seen as a very very safe bet in terms of um, how well it increases its revenues and its profits because after all it does pretty essential products that we all need um, but now it's kind of entering this um, another arena where it wants to engage users in different markets like we saw that when it was um, going after LinkedIn, uh, then when it acquired Minecraft, and then uh, GitHub, and then now looking at TikTok. So Microsoft is really going after these acquisitions to grow um, into a you know a broader market as well as its you know cloud platform. It is a company firing on all cylinders. And, you know, it's one of those things that we question, um, is TikTok going to be acquirable for them and how they're going to integrate this into their system. So firstly, let's look at TikTok and go, uh, firstly, how big is this com um, kind of, I guess, platform? So currently it has around 800 million active users, which is like pretty good when you compare that it's not Facebook, you know. Like, apart from Facebook, you've just got other platforms like Snapchat, Twitter, Pinterest and all those platforms don't really stack up as much as Facebook does with its Instagram and its WhatsApp. So when we consider that TikTok has 800 million users, it's actually really really good and one, one of the top social platforms around. Uh, the problem right now is TikTok is potentially being banned in the US and India and those are two of its larger markets as we'll go through the statistics just later on after this. So if we look at 800 billion users that's quite a decent amount, 2, 2 billion downloads of its app um, and it's gotten more downloads um, and active users than say like YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat in the recent times. So that's really showing some, you know, some powerful metrics when it comes to um, trying to disrupt these really established players because TikTok hasn't been around for too long, uh, but it's making a massive, massive push in this market and it's doing really well. Um, and as you can see here, 41% uh, of TikTok users are aged between 16 and 24, which means, you know, as you can guess, it is an entertainment type of style platform, uh, and it's, you know, for, in terms of the younger demographic, uh, they really love this platform, and even the older age group are starting to like it, uh, it's just still gaining mass, like, this platform has not been around for that long, uh, and you kind of get that feeling that the longer it stays, the more users it's going to get. Um, and as we see right here, in terms of uh, the amount of times that it's been downloaded, 611 times in India. So when you consider um, what every big tech company is chasing right now, they're chasing the Indian market. And when you go, when you look at TikTok, India. Um, is you know by far the bigger user group and it's a great way to just make your way into the country and continue to sell more um, off a social platform like TikTok than just starting from scratch as we witness with um, other other kind of partnerships that say like Facebook has inked, Amazon has done uh, it is all after, you know, it's all chasing after the Indian market because it is, um, in, in some sense, the, the next big market to sell to because uh, every company has probably tried to sell to China um, and, you know, they've either made it or not. 
and now you've got a new market to sell into where you've got over a billion people to sell to and it is you know there's so much development happening there that you want to be there you want to cement yourself as one of the um larger tech players right there and by microsoft buying tiktok it immediately gives them so much room to move in um, into india because everything they do they can just link to tiktok and immediately it has some you know advantage when it comes to success uh, and then also you look at the US, so we look at the three big markets for TikTok, it's India, China and the US, and if China, um, let's say we just, yeah, like if we look at the two, um, the, like India and the US, and say those two countries ban the app, uh, that's a large, large, you know, segment of the user base gone, and that kind of does wipe out a significant amount of value off the TikTok, you know, uh, platform. So that's why you've got this um, kind of situation where if TikTok doesn't get sold to Microsoft, potentially the value lowers significantly. So there's this kind of uh, pressure for TikTok to be sold. Uh, I don't think it would be sold at a cheap price, but uh, there is also that pressure that Microsoft is going to try to haggle. You know, they don't yeah, remember this deal is going to be in the tens of billions and you know neither party is going to be willing too willing to budge because ByteDance who owns TikTok would want maximum amount of money for their you know app it's not it's not every day you're going to produce something and so successful like TikTok um, that it would have been incredibly valuable for them in the long run um, and now that they have to sell it well in a sense they are kind of forced to sell it because uh, it's a bit of a do or die, it's either lose significant value and keep your product or sell it and take the money and try to uh, redevelop something else. Um, and to be fair, like if I was White Dance, I would probably sell TikTok um, if Microsoft was offering a pretty fair price. Uh, or else you risk losing a significant part of your user base, right? Um, and then if we consider this TikTok's monthly active users use it for 50, 52 minutes per day which is pretty significant when you consider um, that you know who's going to be able to find one hour in your day to be fair if you're, you are you know the age, younger age demographic you probably can spend an hour on that a day and you know they've got the time for it whereas an adult spending that much time uh, it's quite significant when you consider their work and your responsibilities um, so in terms of this, uh, that the uh, engagement time is pretty good. Uh, that also gives you a chance to sell them advertising and all that. But when it comes to entertainment space, advertising can get limited sometimes. Um, but no, overall, you know, TikTok is available in 155 countries and 90% of all TikTok users access the app on a daily basis and here it's also made a very good amount of growth in terms of US adults it's in 18 months since it started um, trying to get more older age group into the you know uh, into using their app it's gone up 5.5 times in the last 18 months so originally it was more for kids but now you know an older age groups has started you know to notice to use smartphones more to use apps more uh, this kind of seems like a pretty attractive platform that they want to start using as well and more than 1 billion video views every day which is pretty significant when you consider video you look at YouTube um, and then basically you don't really have any other competitor to YouTube itself so TikTok in terms of video um, has a lot of potential where they can expand and start to compete with YouTube so you know there's so much potential when it comes to TikTok that it does so many things it just hasn't been like commercialized in every aspect yet uh, it still stayed relatively simple on the entertainment platform but has that potential to be something significantly more when when it develops uh, but of course you know we've got this as well Trump gives Microsoft 45 days I think the deadline was September the 15th uh, or TikTok might be banned so you know it is this kind of uh, tussle between you know US and China um, and there's this situation where TikTok's potentially having to sell off their 
um, you know, to sell themselves to basically uh, Microsoft. Uh, as we see here, like ByteDance was worth about a hundred billion dollars, uh, but it was a combination of many different apps. Though it's arguable that basically TikTok would have been a pretty significant amount of that value, maybe even like 40 billion. So when we look at the purchase price, we could be looking at about 30 to 40 billion for Microsoft, which is not a small price tag. Uh, but we are looking at a company that is worth 1.6 trillion dollars right now, so they potentially raise that money um, in a pretty easy way. Um, yeah, like if you look at Microsoft, I think they're just behind Apple. Apple's at about 1.7 trillion, so if Microsoft increases in their share price a bit more, that'd become the most valuable company on the stock market. Um, and in terms of, uh, there is a stumbling block, you know, Trump does want to take a cut of the purchase price, uh, so, you know, if, even if they agree on, like, say, 40 billion and Trump goes, I want 5 billion, uh, it does end up reducing the price significantly. We don't know how much of a cut that the US government wants, uh, but by the sounds of it, it sounds like it might be a pretty significant cut, uh, that might amount into the billions. So we'll have to see how things go. Uh, and for TikTok users, originally TikTok had unveiled 200 million uh, um, to fund their creators. Uh, that does potentially change for users of TikTok. It might potentially put them off the app once Microsoft acquires it because uh, Microsoft hasn't had the best history in terms of uh, developing an app, um, in terms of you know the user experience as well. Um, but of late they haven't been doing too badly and as you can see with the share price um, and it's you know in, in general increasing in value as time goes you just have to trust Satya Nadella that he knows what he's doing when he's uh, making an acquisition like this and how he sees the potential to expand that value going forward uh, but as we've kind of mentioned you know there's so many different um, areas that they can grow the TikTok app in um, so, you know, it's one of those things that we'll just have to wait and see if this acquisition does happen. I think there's at least a chance that it does happen. Uh, the stumbling block for me would be Trump asking for a cut of the purchase price, uh, which would mean ByteDance might not be happy with that, or uh, they might be asking for more because of that, and Microsoft might not want to pay too much more. Um, so we'll have to see how that goes. Um, yeah, definitely let me know what your opinion is. Um, like I think it's uh, definitely had a positive effect on Microsoft's share price because it has so many lead ways into, into them developing into a, diff uh, you know, a different player that can compete with Facebook and compete with like uh, YouTube and all those other platforms. Uh, yeah, so it does look interesting in terms of Microsoft acquiring that and it works well because they've got the professional kind of social area of LinkedIn and now if they get the TikTok area they've got the whole com consumer side of things. Uh, so yeah, it definitely looks quite interesting uh, going forward if Microsoft does end up acquiring TikTok. Um, it certainly might give the share price a bit of a boost because everyone's kind of seeing these products that they will understand very well and see this high high potential in. Um, but I, you know, I, like, I think if you're looking in investing for the short term, you might not see a biggest upside, but long term Microsoft Corporation does look like a company that uh, will continue to produce value going forward regardless, and I think TikTok would definitely add to it. Um, but you, you you just have to bear in mind that the market value is pretty high at 1.6 trillion. Uh, but this is also a company that's firing on all cylinders and constantly producing more value for shareholders year on year. Um, yeah, so definitely look forward to see how things pan out. Uh, yeah, let me know if you've got any questions. Until then, good luck investing, everyone.